so welcome to the coolest tutorial of python this is bitfumes and i'm your host sarthak and in this episode we are going to talk about int data type and float data type what are they and how they are different let's see so when we are learning about the arithmetic operations i have told you that there is some kind of floating system and what that is so if suppose i divide 4 by 2 so <laughs> like this so 4 divided by 2 and if i run it you can see the result is actually 2.0 not exact 2 so if any number or any value having decimal in it then it is called float number so this is float it's short for floating point numbers so this is float but if i use plus sign here and run it you can see six without decimal this means it's not 6.0 it's just six so if any number value having single digit no other dot notation no decimal nothing else then it is called integer it's a whole number without any decimal so this is good but you know i don't like to have a floating number when i compute this operation so how can i convert a float into an int it's super easy what you need to do first thing you need to give int here so you have defined that okay i am going to get int from this operation whatever will be the result just get me the integer part only so if i run this you can see it's not giving 2.0 it's just giving 2 but what if i give 5 divided by 2 we know 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so if i convert it to int it is still giving 2 why because if we are changing the data type because we are having the data and we are giving its type so when we are changing the data type from float to int it just drop out whatever will be the number after decimal so it's just drop out so that's why when we convert this to int this will result to not two point something or three maybe <laughs> okay but you know there is a function which tell you which type of operation is here or which type of data you have not the operation so what i have said what type so let's just type type okay so this function is just giving the type of the result we are passing here so it's saying class float so this means the result of this operation is a float but if i give plus sign here run this statement now you can see it's now changed to int so this is very important if uh, in any case you want to know what is the type because if you know the type you can just change it to whatever other type just like we have changed from float to int if you want you can use this and then change it next thing i want to tell you is that you can see we are actually adding two integer so what if i use one as a float so 5.0 and 5 is same 5.0 is a float 5 is int so i'm adding a float to int let's see the result and you can see the result is float so what if i divide it so i'm dividing float by int and again result will be float so i think whatever will be the operation result will be float okay and after this let's do addition you know one plus one plus one is three and you will say sarthak what the silly thing you are teaching me okay wait let's just make some float thing so it, it will be like 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 and what will be the result simple 0 0.3 
but let's see the result. Okay, you can see the result is something weird. It's not only 0 0.3, but having bunch of zeros and at the last we have four. What the heck is this? Actually, Python has to put all these things inside its memory. To fit the number, it will change something, slight change here. Yes, after many zeros, this four doesn't countable, doesn't matter, but it is there. It's not a matter of concern if we are having a normal program, but when you are dealing with lots of data, big data, then this can be a problem. So you have to keep this in mind that addition of float or operation with the float sometimes give you slightly weird result. So you have to keep this in mind. So this is all about int and float data types. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please go and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to get instant notification. Like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Share these video with your friends and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.